This demonstration will give you an idea of how easy it is to use the TAMS platform to improve the common challenge around data interoperability between different parties, in this case farmer, industry body and buyer, and how TAMS has solved three critical elements across the potato value chain. Proof of identity, land owner or land user, proof of location, where paddocks and crops are, and proof of critical control data elements which could include biosecurity aspects, compliance, field inspections or spray diagrams. We will demonstrate how easy it is to track back from your buyer created invoice to the dedicated seed line or individual paddock. So let's have a look at the potato process. This is the integration for the paddock and seed application and the levy collection. Firstly, create your application and using geospatial identification by your farmer or grower app, define your paddock and prove your location. Then define your individual plot and your seed or cultivar and confirm and submit your application to Potatoes New Zealand for approval. The application is recorded to the TANS blockchain. The data is collected and recorded once, shared where required and protected where appropriate. The industry body, in this case Potatoes New Zealand, can immediately see the seed application from the TANS blockchain in their ballast system. Potatoes New Zealand can then verify and approve or reject the seed application to grow potatoes on that specific paddock. A unique crop reference number is applied, which is submitted to Ballas for approval. And then once approved, this is recorded to the TANS blockchain. Then we move on to the visibility of levy reporting, which is verified by the grower. It is mandatory for the buyer to report their levy to Potatoes New Zealand, which includes grower identification, purchaser, crop reference number, cultivar, quantity, and sales price. The buyer created invoice is submitted to Potatoes New Zealand in the ballast system for proof of levy reporting with the crop reference number and is submitted to the TANS blockchain. Then the grower can verify, approve or reject their sale and trace the profitability of the crop back to the specific paddock or seed line through the buyer created invoice crop reference number. They can then have real time 100% accuracy on the seed performance of their potatoes which is great for tracking crop performance yield rates and defect rates. There is also validation of the levy page by providing the buyer created invoice directly into the ballast system. This is one example TANS has done together with Potatoes New Zealand. However, the TANS platform is agnostic to existing farm management systems and tools. TANS is not reinventing new data systems. TANS simply adds a layer of trust and connects existing data systems in a trusted way. To summarize what the benefits are to the primary sector, it's enabling farmers to have control over their data it reduces administration and compliance work by connecting data silos and allowing sharing of data in a permissioned way. It's connecting growers with consumers to tell the grower story and get better direct feedback and provides a platform for provenance, authenticity, food safety and biosecurity track and tracing.